So uh, just to recap what we had earlier today, a little before 11 this morning, we received a call from the Wells Fargo on South Fort Harrison Avenue of a bank robbery in progress. Our officers and detectives responded immediately to the scene. Uh, we learned there that a, a white male had come into the bank, uh, suggested he had a weapon, uh, demanded money from the teller, got impatient, climbed over the counter and started helping himself to the money. Uh, he fled the scene uh, shortly thereafter. We were able to get witness description of the suspect and of the car that he ran to shortly thereafter and fled. It was a red Dodge Magnum. Um, we were able to ascertain what his direction of travel was. An alert detective sergeant happened to see his car getting gas a little bit later on Clearwater Largo Road. Um, so that detective uh, began following him and at the corner of West Bay and Clearwater Largo Road, the Sheriff's Office, Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, tried to initiate a traffic stop. At that time, the driver fled at a high rate of speed, so no, no pursuit was initiated uh, for safety reasons. We already had the help of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office helicopter. They were able to monitor him from the air. And from that point, they were able to follow him um, you know, via the air safely where he ended up on Bel Air Beach, pulled into a driveway, tried to carjack another vehicle. He had a um, kind of a, a that, that person tried to intervene and keep him from stealing his truck. That's when the sheriff's office canine showed up. The man tried to run, and that's when the canine apprehended him. Um, he, uh, so the, he, he suffered some injuries from the canine. He was taken to Morton Plant Hospital to be medically cleared and then transported to the jail. Um, during the time he was taken into custody, he made sure that he let those who were there, the sheriff's office and police know that he was the I-4 bandit from several years ago. So he was kind of trying to make sure we knew of his history for some reason. Uh, what kind of guy is this? He made it known who he was and we know his history and we've covered it before obviously, but what kind of individual is this person to say, hey, to, to, to be accused of doing this years ago and come back and do the same thing? What kind of person is this? I mean, the biggest thing I can think of is that apparently he didn't learn his lesson the first time around and that for some reason he's very proud of his past. I'm not sure why that is. Um, a man that's suspected of holding up 19 banks back in the 1990s, I believe he was convicted of robbing six banks and here he is in November of 2021 robbing possibly three more banks. We charged him you know, with our robbery today. Temple Terrace and St. Pete might have him as a suspect in theirs. So apparently this is a man who doesn't learn his lesson very well about the federal criminal justice system. And he's recently, like you just mentioned, recently accused of robbing some other banks in the area, recently, even more recently? Right. In November of this year, uh, there was recently some intelligence put out amongst law enforcement agencies to be on the lookout for this guy because um, he, was, he had robbed a bank in Temple Terrace and we believe he robbed a bank in St. Petersburg and then today he struck again in Clearwater. So he was back at it again. You mentioned uh, he, he tried to steal another vehicle, uh, not, I guess not too far from here. And there, yeah. there put up a, the individual put up a fight with this person, so that kind of helped roll out at least find this person? Or right, they were, the helicopter was following him from the time they tried the traffic stop at West Bay and Clearwater Largo Road. So the helicopter had an eye on him the whole time, was able to track him because he's, he's driving recklessly. He's speeding along, it's not safe to follow him or you know, we don't chase, we don't pursue, we don't engage in those types of behavior that are dangerous for others. So we let the, the helicopter in the sky keep an eye on him. He has no clue he's being followed. So we see him, uh, or the deputies see him in the air um, in Bel Air Beach. They watch him pull into a driveway. They watch him try to jump into a, a white truck. And at that time, the owner comes out and tries to stop him. There's some type of confrontation between those two. And that confrontation uh, take, goes on long enough that a deputy and a canine handler is able to get there. He runs from the scene, he's dropping money everywhere, and that's when the canine is able to apprehend him along with the handler. We are incredibly grateful for the help of the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, for their deputies, for their canine handlers, and for their eye in the sky that helped bring this to a, um, a very quick conclusion. I think 26 minutes was the time from the first call to when he was actually taken into custody. So it took great cooperation and collaboration between our two agencies to bring this guy to justice. Lastly, for me, I mean, what can be done to keep this guy behind bars now? I mean, uh, that's that's for people beyond us. That's for the justice system to figure out. You know, one would be hopeful that maybe this time he goes to prison for a long, long time and perhaps never gets out to do these kinds of crimes again. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you all. Thank you so much. So.
Hey there, folks. JB Buno here with you live on WFLA Now. You're looking at David Mark Ratcliffe, the man uh, that they that they call the I-4 Bandit, arrested here in the Tampa Bay area for a uh, a string of, of of robberies, a string of bank robberies in Clearwater, St. Pete, and Temple Terrace over the last month. And this is a a career criminal, as you would call it, according to authorities. They say that he has been responsible for bank robberies along the I-4 corridor, the I-4 corridor, of course, being between Tampa and Orlando. And we have some video here to show you that is pretty incredible because we have a video going back to 1999 when David Mark Ratcliffe was seen on surveillance camera. And we have a, a, here's the story that uh, we'll show you some of the video, and then we're going to play the story here in just a moment. But this is WFLA News Channel 8 archive video going all the way back to 1997. This is June 97, and this is the man that they were looking for at the time, the man that was later identified as David Mark Ratcliffe, as we understand it. He was a known bank robber in the Tampa area, criminal history, again, dating back to the mid-90s. And we have a story to show you now from the reporter who did this report uh, back in the 90s for WFLA News Channel 8. And um, and again, it just speaks to uh, speaks to uh, why this man, David Mark Radcliffe, received the name I-4 Bandit. Take a listen. This is now archive video from 19, an archive report from WFLA News Channel 8 archives dating back to 1997. These surveillance pictures taken at a Clearwater bank yesterday show a robber who's been extremely busy. Police say it also shows a man who's growing more dangerous. He not only brandishes and shows his weapon now, he's actually pulling out of his waistband, racking around to intimidate the tellers. Police say in addition to the Orlando robberies, the gunman has hit five Bay Area banks in the past month, one in Tampa, four in the Clearwater area. Yesterday, he robbed the first Union Bank in Countryside. Then he struck the Am South Bank in the ICOT Center on Olmerton Road. He's pushing ahead of other customers to get in the front of the line to pull off these bank robberies, and he's becoming more verbally abusive to the tellers. These pictures show the gunman holding up Orlando banks. He's doing nothing to disguise himself. The pictures from Pinellas holdups show a similar lack of fear of recognition, leading authorities to believe he's not from Orlando or the Bay Area, but he could be from Polk County where he's not committed any holdups. When the gunman held up this bank two weeks ago, he also stole a car from a nearby mall. That car was found in Orlando after a bank robbery there. That method leaves detectives without a current description of a getaway vehicle. The holdup artist may be a late sleeper. All the robberies have been afternoon. Police hope one day to catch him napping. In Pinellas County, I'm Rod Challenger, News Channel 8. Ron Challenger with the report there, hoping to catch him napping is the final line there from Rod. Again, that report filed in 97, June of 97. And here we are now in November of 2021. And David Mark Ratcliffe, the so-called I-4 bandit, uh, uh, taken into custody, accused of robbing banks recently. Not back in the 90s, but recently. In Clearwater, St. Pete, and Temple Terrace. This all within the last month. Now, a Clearwater police detective uh, spotted Ratcliffe's vehicle uh, after he allegedly robbed a Wells Fargo in Clearwater. Uh, let me make sure that I have the date here correct because I want to make sure that I have this correct for, for our audience. And, and going back through my reporter's notebook, if you will, here. And, yeah, early Tuesday morning. Uh, that's when a sheriff's deputy tried to conduct a traffic stop shortly thereafter on West Bay Drive. He fled, according to police, he fled at a high rate of speed. And with the help of a Pinellas County Sheriff's Office helicopter, Clearwater police were able to track Ratcliffe's vehicle into Bel Air Beach where he abandoned the car. He allegedly tried to steal a truck on Harbor Drive. If this sounds like something out of a movie, it, it certainly, certainly reads that way, according to the report from police. The truck owner fought with Ratcliffe, and was, uh, Ratcliffe was later caught by a sheriff's office canine shortly thereafter. So, again, these images showing you Ratcliffe going back to the 90s, going back to 1997, this is him now today in his most recent arrest, uh, a mugshot for the arrest of bank robberies here in the Tampa Bay area in Clearwater, St. Pete, and Temple Terrace. So uh, a career criminal, if you will, back to doing what career criminals do, and that's commit crimes, is David Mark Ratcliffe. You can read the very latest on WFLA.com, the W, 
uh, FLA app. Uh, for those of you joining us on Facebook Live, click on the link in the description of this video. It'll take you over to WFLA.com. We have more on Ratcliffe's lengthy criminal history uh, in the Tampa Bay area and how he received the nickname I4 Bandit. That again, uh, click on the link in the description, or if you're joining us elsewhere, wherever you're watching from, just head over to WFLA.com or the WFLA app. I'm JB Buna. We'll see you next time, folks, on WFLA Now.